Hello and welcome to Daybreak English. Today I'm going to talk to you about the most annoying type of irregular verb. Those that follow the I to A to U pattern. Hi, I'm Dawn. How are you today? I hope this day is going well for you. As we know, verbs in English have three forms. The base form or infinitive without two, the past simple and the past participle. Regular verbs in the past simple and past participle end in either D, ED or IED when replacing a Y. Most English verbs are regular verbs, but it's the irregular verbs that give us the most trouble. There are different types of irregular verbs. The type that the, we will talk about today are the group where the vowel changes in both the past simple and the past participle. The good news is that all these verbs follow the same pattern, so you just need to learn which verbs follow the pattern. We'll start with begin. Begin in the past simple is began, and in the past participle, begun. Examples. Let's begin to learn about irregular verbs. Our lesson began a few minutes ago. You're a bit late now. Our lesson has begun. The same rule applies to these other verbs. Swim, swam and swum. I swim because it's good for my health. We swam in the pool on my birthday. Pool party! She has swum every morning since she was 10 years old. Wow. Drink, drank and drunk. You drink cola every day. We drank a toast to the bride and groom. A toast is when you clink your glasses together to wish someone success. The tiger had drunk all the tea from the teapot. That is a sneaky reference to a well-known children's book. Can you guess which one? The parents out there may have read it to their children. It's one of my favourites. Write the title in the comments if you know what it is. Just to be clear about the past participle drunk, this is different to the adjective drunk, which you may have heard describing someone who has had too much alcohol to drink. The past participle refers to the action of drinking. Also, stink, stank and stunk. Examples. Rotten fruit makes the bin stink. We left the building because it stank of smoke. Don't go in there. A skunk has stunk up the house. Phew! Stunk up is a phrasal verb we use to describe when a smell has completely filled an enclosed space. Other verbs that follow this pattern are sing, spring, sink, shrink and ring. But be careful because not all irregular verbs that have an I follow this pattern. For example, stick, to make two things fasten together. 
The past simple is stuck. The past participle is also stuck. We don't say, I stack the broken toy back together. No, instead we say, I stuck the broken toy back together. Something that I've done many times. Stack is a word, but it means something completely different. A big pile of something. For example, a haystack. Or to pile something up high. To stack the chairs. So don't mis make the mistake of using it as the past simple of stick. Now it's your turn. I would like you to write some sentences using one of these verbs in all three of its forms. Perhaps try one of the ones that I haven't used today and leave them in the comments section. I can't wait to see what you write. Practice using these verb tenses in your speech. Maybe you could record yourself saying those sentences as well. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let me know in the comments what kinds of videos you'd like to see in the future. See you again soon. Bye.